Welcome back and we're waking up to some fog out there in some locations this morning, mainly in the eastern half of the area. That's where the fog is the most dense. We're down to about a quarter of a mile of visibility in Emporia, mile and a half in Topeka, less than a mile in Lawrence and a half mile in Marysville this morning. And you can really tell when we get to look at our tower cams, but the National Weather Service has issued a dense fog advisory for some of our counties, including Shawnee County, Douglas, Osage County, Coffee, Anderson, and Lyon counties this morning. That goes until 10 a.m. and that's when we'll start to see the fog dissipating for us. But until then, we have some pretty dense fog out there. This is a look outside at our Lawrence camera right now. We also have a look out at our Central Topeka camera where usually we can see the Capitol building right front and center. Right now we can't see that at all. So we are dealing with this patchy dense fog and we'll continue to see that as we go throughout the next few hours or so. Taking a look at our satellite and radar, you can actually see the fog showing up. That's that very dark gray color that's showing up. We have some higher clouds. That's the lighter color of gray there as well. So we are dealing with this fog. We'll continue to see it until about 9 or 10 o'clock this morning. But the good news is our temperatures are very mild out there. We're in the mid to upper 40s for the most part. 50 degrees already in Manhattan and Junction City. Concordia sitting at 50 degrees as well. Topeka, Hiawatha, we're at 47 degrees and 46 degrees in Emporia and Burlington this morning. Now we'll likely warm up into the 70s later on this afternoon thanks to the help of some pretty breezy southerly winds. They'll be gusting to about 20 to 25 miles per hour out there and eventually that'll help us into the low to mid 70s today. Overnight tonight we'll see increasing cloud cover ahead of our next cold front that will keep us a little bit cooler heading into tomorrow but still above average with temperatures in the middle 60s and then we'll likely see our next chance for rain entering back into the picture late Thursday night. This is our future track starting at 8 p.m. on Thursday. We'll likely see some light showers in our southern communities that pushes out early Friday morning, leaving us dry for most of the day on Friday until late Friday night where we could see some stronger storms embedded in some of this activity and we'll have lingering showers throughout the daytime on Saturday before this finally pushes off to the east early on Sunday morning. So quite a wet into the week and start to the weekend for us, but the good news is, is our temperatures will be pretty close to average during this time, maybe a few degrees warmer. We'll actually top out in the mid 60s both Thursday and Friday. Cool off a little bit on Saturday with temperatures in the upper 50s, but then we'll rebound pretty quickly on Sunday into Monday back up into the mid to upper 60s for the first part of next week. Becky, you're the bearer of great news <sighs> today. I think we all need it. a little of that, so yes. looking forward to that forecast to bring you even better news. Let's introduce